Hey fellow crafters, today we're going to take uh, a milk can from Hobby Lobby. Got it, it was $10, 50% off. I already uh, gave it a coat of primer. And I also got this at Hobby Lobby, this stencil. It's really cool. It says Farmer's Market, Farm Fresh, and it has a cow on it. And I'm going to try my hand at stenciling again. First, what I'm going to do is give this a better, it's a primer coat, so I'm going to give it a coat of white paint, and then we're going to use some black paint for the stencil. Oh, I also got this. So, because this is on a curved surface, you can see, like, right here is pulling up, and the cow parts, the cow little leg and spots are pulling up. So we're going to try this. It's called Pixie Spray. It, you put it on the back of the stencil and it'll hold it down. So I'm hoping that it'll hold these areas down so we can get a nice, clean, crisp stencil on our half a milk can. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start by giving it a coat of the white chalk paint. And when that's done and dry, we'll look at this Pixie Spray and our stencil and see how that works out. Okay, we have our milk can painted. Took the tape off, got a couple coats of the white chalk paint on there. And we have our stencil from Hobby Lobby that we're gonna put on. The stencil was on the clearance for 87 cents. So that's a pretty good deal. So what we're gonna do, so I read the back of this Pixie Spray and it says, shake well, um, hold 12 inches from stencil. So you wanna put it on the stencil, not on the, the can. And you wanna let it dry for one minute and you can reposition it and you can clean it up with soap. You can clean the stencil with soap and water after you're done. So I'm gonna take it outside and do it cause you're supposed to hold it 12 inches and I don't wanna get it, getting it all over the table and everything so I'll be back in in a minute okay so we gave it a good coating with the stencil glue I guess and we're gonna put it on here press it down make sure that oh, it's not sticking so hopefully this stuff works We might have to try this again inside because it's not sticking. So, okay. It's supposed to let it dry for one minute, but we're not going to let it dry. We're just going to try and put it on here. We have a little cow parts and the letters. I want to make sure that it's down. Okay, we might just have to use tape for the rest. We got a, a good portion of it and it looks like it's sticking. So we're just going to keep pressing that in there, making sure that it's sticking down. And we're going to start painting. Okay, so we're going to give this a try. Uh, I think you have to like pretty much stick it down as you're going. So, well, what's the worst that could happen? So we're going to just try it. We're gonna hold it down where we can. And hopefully it doesn't get underneath the, the stencil. 
Oh, it's pulling up a little right there. I guess the worst that could happen is we'll have to just repaint it. Now, right here. Yeah, it's pulling, it's pulling up in certain spots. Well, we'll see how it turned out. All right, let's try and lift it up. All right, not horrible. There's some spots I have to touch up, but you know what? It looks kind of rustic, and I'm going to probably put some uh, antique wax on it. But it didn't come out that horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. All right, I'm going to go wash my hands. So here you go. It's still wet, but there's a little bit of leakage under some of the letters. But not horrible. It looks weathered, and that's the kind of the look we're going for. A weathered, sitting out in the weather kind of look. <laughs> so we're gonna let it dry, and then uh, we'll put some flowers in the top, and maybe some ribbon. All right. So our stencil is dry. It came out pretty good, actually. Uh, there's some spots up here and around the edges, uh, especially around like, you know, the little things. But anyway, I want to take it outside and give it a coat of clear. But first I want to dirty up the rest of the edges. So I'm going to take some of this antique wax and I'm going to take baby wipe, some water, and I'm just going to hit the edges. And a little more. Just hit the edges. Give it a little bit of rusted look. A rust, rusted, rusted look. Not too much. Just enough. And you notice I didn't do the handle. I wanted the handle to have that metal look still. So I left the I left the handle alone. I'm just gonna go along. You probably won't even be able to see this because I'm gonna put flowers in the top, but just a little bit here and there. Just to give it some age. I don't want to do it too much on in here because you know rust usually starts at the edges so and that's good we're gonna let it dry okay so we got the clear coat on there and we're gonna start putting the florals in there I got these from Michaels they were originally a dollar ninety nine they were on sale for fifty percent off so Better than the dollar store, actually. Um, let's start by getting this out of the way and getting our floral foam. I'm gonna try this method. It's pretty good. It's not really moving around too much. And now we're going to take our florals. I always have a hard time getting these tags off. 
should have done that first, but I wanted to show you guys that they were on sale. I'm going to do the trick and push the leaves up. Oh, that one doesn't have a leaf. So we're going to start with the white one. And then I'm going to try to show you this. Get it down in there. Okay. So there's the white. And then we have the pink. I pulled that one right off. <laughs> so we'll just put them back together and try not to push so hard. And then the last pink. Well, that one came off pretty easy. I think I gotta hold it up. I'm sorry. I know you guys can't see it. I'm just gonna try to zhuzh, <laughs> zhuzh the flowers around and get them all full. So actually, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, I thought it'd be cute to put um, a ribbon like around here. So I'm gonna go with the pink. And then I'm not sure which one. We have the gingham, and then we have a plaid buffalo check one. And I'm not sure which one I like better. But I was gonna do the trick where you layer one on top of the other. Oh, they're almost the same size. So maybe we'll go with this one. I think this one's a little smaller. I hate getting this. I hate starting them. There we go. No, actually, I think this one's the same size too. So maybe. Oh, well, this one you kind of can see the pink through though. Maybe we'll do a layer like that. Okay, I think that's what we'll do. So. go. I think this one's about done. I do like how the pink comes through and I kind of do like the ribbon at the bottom. Okay I'm gonna let it sit overnight see if I like it and if I do we'll consider this one done. If not we'll try something else. So I decided to leave it as a table sitter. I didn't want to put it on a board since the last one we did was on a board. Um, but I hope you guys like this one. I do. I think it came out really good. I hope you guys have a great week. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.